In this video, we are going to solve a problem which appeared in J Advanced 2013. It's a problem regarding the basic algebra, or basically we can say it's a problem regarding logarithm and its properties. So first we understand the problem. So here it is given that 3 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power x minus 1. Now we need to find out the values of x and there are multiple options are provided. So we have to choose the correct option. That's the problem. So obviously we understand that to solve this problem, we have to apply the logarithm. Now let's go ahead and proceed for to the solution section. So first, consider the equation as 3 to the power x is equal to 4 to the power x minus 1. Now, uh, we first recall one property of source, which says a to the power a minus 1 is equal to a to the power n divided by a to the power n. So therefore, 4 to the power x minus 1 can be written as 4 to the power x divided by 4. Now we do uh, rewrite that equation as 3 by 4 whole to the power x is equal to 4 to the power minus 1. Now we take the logarithm with base 2, right, in both sides. So therefore, right, now we write log 2, 3 by 4 whole to the power x and log 2, 4 equal minus or equal, right. Now we recall the power law. What is the power law? Power law states that log a to the power m is equal to m log a with any base b. So if we apply that, log 2, 3 by 4 x, right, whole to the power x will be written as x into log 3 by 4 and 4 to the power minus 1 can be written as minus log 4. And now, again, we recall the properties of log. Log x by y is equal to log x minus log y. So therefore, we can easily rewrite that log 3 by 4 as log 3 minus log 4. Now, we have base 2 and the value is 4. So 4 need to be rewritten as, as 2 squared. So that's very simple. Now, again, we recall the power law or we apply the power law. So if we apply the power law, the last expression will be re reduced to or again simplified as x log 3 minus 2 log 2 minus again 2 log 2. Now, in these cases, all the bases are b or also the function is in 2. Now we know that, right, that if the base and the argument are equal for log function, it gives you the value 1. So therefore, we can say x multiplied by log 3 minus 1 or minus 2 is equal to minus 2. So therefore, x is equal to 2 divided by 2 minus log 3. And you can easily observe that that's the option B. So therefore, option B is the correct option. And that's it. But see, in this particular problem, we may have multiple options. It's already mentioned in the problem. Okay. So that's why we have to test the other option as well. So now let's go ahead and uh, test the other options too. Let's proceed further. So we already see this option, option B is correct. So now, we apply the reciprocal rule. So what is the reciprocal rule for log? So we just recall that. So reciprocal rule says that log A with respect to the base B will be equal to the reciprocal of or 1 by of 1 divided by log B and the base A. So they have base and argument are interchange. So therefore it will be uh, uh, reciprocal of each other. So that's the concept we we'll use. So therefore we can see that right log 3 with base 2 is equivalent to 1 by log 2 with base 3. So this is the important uh, aspect of this problem. Now we do the cross multiplication or we multiply both sides with log 2 with base 3. If we do so, we get our option A and therefore our option A for this problem is also correct. So two options are correct. Now there are remaining two options. So that need to be tested also. So let's go ahead and proceed for the next. So now let's take care of and do the testing for option C and option D. 
how we able to say that right that the two expression whatever we obtained here right which is marked as a box right so which one is cut uh, uh, from which we can derive the remaining two is it true or not that we need to be test so let's process so here first we change right the base of the logarithm from two to four okay so here right to solve this particular uh, thing we are actually taking this first expression that x is equal to two divided by log two three so here we just uh, change the base from two to four so let's go ahead so here as we are required to change the base from two to four so therefore we need to introduce the base change formula for log so let's recall it so here log a with base b is equal to log a with base b some arbitrary base is equal to log b divided by uh, log b with respect to the base b so that's the base change formula so if we apply that right we can easily say that right uh, x is equal to 2 divided by 2 minus log 3 divided by log 2 and in both cases the base is 4 now we also need to use now the reciprocal rule so what is the reciprocal rule again we recall it that log a with base b is equal to 1 by of log b and base a so now therefore here we can see that right that uh, log 2 base 4 right the uh, denominator of this log expression right can be written as now the product of log 4 with base 2 and log 4 with log 3 with base 4 right that's it. you already understand that okay that's it so therefore wherever we see now 4 right we just change it to 2 square so let's go ahead so therefore now we can apply the power law again so if i apply the power law it becomes 2 log 2 and the remaining will be straightforward and we already discussed that log 2 with base 2 will be equal to 1 so therefore it will be 2 divided by 2 minus 2 of log 3 so 2 to cancel from all the sides so therefore it will be 1 by log 3 with base 4 now why we do that because that's by just seeing the options because here the option c is also to be proven correct and we change the base right as as you notice that right that here the base is 4 now also see that the option d now see that we already uh, calculate x right in the form of right the base 2 right so these options a and d should not be same so therefore in this particular problem it is obvious that option d is false so hence in this particular problem the option a b c are the correct option and that's it hope you understood the problem thank you